there he is. He's looking at me. Hi. The house by chance to escape. Whether you like them or not, spiders are very much everywhere in the world today, to the extent that you probably have one close to you right now and you wouldn't even notice it until they're much closer to you. However, most time these spiders are not harmful, they're even necessary to the environment, but that doesn't mean that all of them aren't dangerous. Some are incredibly venomous, and you need to be on the lookout for them if you're near their home areas. So allow us to show you 8 of the most venomous spiders in the world today. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 8. Wolf Spider The wolf spider is a species of arachnid that are known for being spread throughout the world, and they are very dangerous. They're also known for being incredibly fast and able to live in many areas, including inside human houses, if they think that bugs are inside for them to eat. They're also known as rather solitary spiders who like to hunt at night and stalk their prey. Because of this, they don't typically attack humans unless they feel threatened. Don't get lax though, the bite of a wolf spider has been likened to a bee sting in terms of pain. Their venom isn't the most damaging, but it'll make the wound seem worse than it is, including causing it to itch terribly. Number 8. Black Widow Spider The venom of the Black Widow Spider won't actually kill you unless various things happen, many of which can be remedied rather easily after the bite happens. Despite common belief, they actually won't bite unless directly provoked. But there is a catch to this. They say that if you get bit by the Black Widow Spider, your life is on hold until you either wait it out or get treatment. Some of the things you'll experience while under the venom's power is cramping, irregular heartbeat, sweating, extreme muscular pain, tremors, and delirium. What might be the oddest thing about the poison is that the anti-venom isn't an option unless the symptoms become very violent. Oftentimes you'll be given painkillers and told to wait it out the first few hours, which can be the worst of it. But the other reason this venom is so legendary is that its symptoms can last days or even weeks, and until it's out of your system, you won't be having a normal day in your life. Number 7. Brazilian Wandering Spider If you reside within Central or South America, there is a spider that you should be aware of. It's called the Brazilian Wandering Spider. They are very aggressive spiders and they don't like humans very much. Their bites can be lethal in certain concentrations as well as be extremely painful and debilitating. These spiders also don't act like regular spiders in that they actually hide out during the day and go wander around the forest they reside in at night, which makes it so that you'll likely not see them coming, though it should be noted that most bites are done in self-defense. As for their venom, it can cause extreme pain, salivation, irregular heart rate, paralysis, and more, and if left untreated, it can definitely lead to death. The effects are often immediate and grow in intensity over time, including affecting your blood pressure within 30 minutes if the amount of venom is high enough. The Brazilian Wandering Spider was even considered in the Guinness Book of World Records to be the most venomous spider in the world multiple years running. Now that says something, don't you think? Number 6. The Brown Widow Spider The Brown Widow Spider is related to the infamous Black Widow Spider. In fact, they are cousins, and this family of spiders have a similar kind of venom. For the Brown Widow Spider, they have a venom which is so strong that it can cause latrodectism symptoms. Their venom is rarely fatal, they've even been known to be the lesser of the widow species of spiders because they can't put too much into the human body, yet on the other hand, their venom is known to make your body seize up in a way that is similar to tetanus. What's more, the venom can attack your brain and spine and cause paralysis as a result, though this has been proven to be rare instances. Number 5. The Yellow Sack Spider Found in the United States and Mexico, the yellow sack spider is one that creates a rather unique home for itself. It'll make a silk tube and put it under rocks, on leaves, and even inside the houses of people. What makes this spider stick out though is its venom. The poison within this spider can be necrotic, meaning that they cause the cells to die, as well as making them forget their function. Due to this, their bites are known to cause lesions on the victim. One of the main reasons for bites is that humans sometimes go after their eggs via their silk tubes that they often don't know what they are. The spiders will defend their young and lash out. The yellow sack spider are also known for having more bites on humans in the United States than any other species. Number 4. Brown Recluse Spider The brown recluse spider, also known as violin spiders as well as fiddlers because of their looks, but it's not their names that cause people to worry, it's their personalities. Because the brown recluse spider is a type of arachnid that doesn't move fast and prefers to house itself within certain dim areas. These dim areas include things like your shoes, your bed, your clothes, and more. This is often how people get bit, because they'll try and put an item on that the spider is in, and naturally feeling provoked, they lash out. 
The spider is found in the United States and is very popular in areas like the Midwest and California. The brown recluse spider has an extremely potent venom, one that not only causes a big wound at times, but infection, decaying tissue, and more. If a young child gets bit by the spider, it can definitely be fatal. Number three, six-eyed sand spider. In Africa, there is a spider known as the six-eyed sand spider, and it is one that can be an impressive size, as it has a two-inch body and over four-inch legs. When it comes to their bites, they honestly don't bite humans too much because they don't see them often where they are in the deserts of Africa. However, it has been shown to bite other creatures quite often like rabbits. When they do, the venom kills the rabbit within 12 hours. Technically speaking, there has been no confirmed bites on humans via the six-eyed sand spider. However, there are two cases that many feel were the results of said spider and the effects were devastating. One victim lost an arm due to the necrosis caused by the venom. The other suffered from blood hemorrhaging and died via that. So while it may be unconfirmed, it does seem to indicate that the venom of this spider is incredibly dangerous and violent. Number two, the Chilean recluse spider. The Chilean recluse spider can be found in South America within many countries like Chile, Peru, Brazil, and more. And it is widely considered to be the most dangerous of the entire recluse family of spiders. That being said, the odds of getting bitten by them are somewhat low as they don't prefer to interact with humans and don't bite unless provoked. But when the bite does happen, the effects aren't for the faint of heart. The key part of the venom is a dermonecrotic agent that is known to be in certain kinds of violent bacteria. This can cause many kinds of wounds to the victim. Some only result in small wounds, while other bites have caused lesions and occasionally it's called renal failure in the person bit. What's more, while many will feel the bite of these spiders, the damage sometimes won't show up until many hours afterwards. During a study in Chile, 4% of the people bit by the spider died. What's more, there is no definitive anti-venom for the spider bite, making it all the more important to not get bit by the spider. Number 1. Northern Funnel Web Spider If you wish to see a spider that is so lethal that it can kill you via a bite in minutes, then you need to look no further than the Northern Funnel Web Spider, which can be found in Queensland and New South Wales in Australia. This is a particularly deadly spider that has a certain obsession that leads to it connecting with humans. Mainly, it likes water, and it'll do some interesting things to get into the water, including climbing up trees and then literally falling into things like swimming pools, in which they can survive for hours in by trapping themselves in air bubbles. This is where the problem comes in, because people who own the pools will try and get rid of them via scoops or other things, and the spiders will come in and bite them. If no anti-venom is applied within minutes of the bite happening, the person can die. So what do you think? What do you think about this look at the various spiders of the world and which one should you be on the lookout for in regards to their venomous potential? Do you know if any of these spiders live near you? Do you know any people who might come into contact with these venomous arachnids? Are you glad you're far away from these species? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.